Hi to all, welcome to RAMS and Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the SQLA database. So, this is a continuation of uh, uh, video of the previous uh, uh, videos. So, that uh, in the previous videos, we have created uh, two separate Java classes. One is uh, to create a database that is called DB Helper, another one is a uh, created separate Java class that is a contact table to perform database operations in the contacts table and we have checked in the main activity uh, whether that database is working or not what we have created so in the previous video we have seen how database is working fine so now in this tutorial uh, we are going to create a user interface through that we are going to insert the record into the uh, table contacts table so when the time of creating uh, this uh, uh, sorry let me change the project structure to Android so when the time of creating project uh, we have selected the empty activity in that XML file means activity underscore main dot XML file we have floating action button so we are going to use that button uh, for the option of adding contact now so we are coming to the main activity <coughs> So we are uh, calling floating action button, floating action button equal to the reference of the floating action button, find view by id, r dot id dot of floating action button and floating action button dot set on click listener of new on click listener. So whenever we are going to click this add button, we are going to launch another activity, there we are going to create a user interface to save the record into the database. So I'm creating a new record here. That record I'm giving the name as a add activity. And the add activity XML file we are going to create a user interface uh, to insert the contact into the database. So we need to change the layout. So I'm going to change the layout from constraint layout to relative layout. And uh, design the user interface of to edit text. One is a plain edit text. Uh, this is for the, to enter the contact name. So this one I'm changing to hint enter contact name so id i am giving c name and after that i am going to take a number type edit text and this one is to enter the contact number c number and a hint i am giving enter contact number and finally we need to have a button to save this contact into the database so here we are giving the id is save and text is a save now coming to the main activity when we click this button we need to launch that uh, add activity so that we are calling the method start activity of new intent and get application context we need to pass the context value and we want to launch add activity so i'm going to write a program to launch the add activity so this is an a get application context method now we are coming to the add activity we are going to call the first of all ui references edit text edit text underscore name equal to edit text find a view by id r dot i dot edit text underscore contact name in the same way edit text underscore uh, number equal to edit text underscore find view by id r dot i dot edit text underscore c number and we are going to call the button 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 underscore save equal to button and uh, we are calling the reference of this button 
or dot id dot button underscore save. Now we are writing an action for this button. Button underscore save dot set on click listener of new on click listener. So here first of all we are going to uh, open the database and inserting the record and we are going to close the database. For that we have created separate Java class that is the context table. Let us create an object for that class and we need to pass the context value. So this is a get application context and after that we need to call open db method. Why because we have created separate Java class. Here we have a open method open database, close database and insert a get all values already we have created. So simply we are going to use those methods. And we are going to call the insert method. So before that we need to get the data from these uh, array text input fields. So string contact name equal to array text underscore name dot get text dot to string in the same way string c number equal to Array text underscore number dot get text dot to string. Now we are calling contacts table dot insert record. In that first parameter is a contact name and next one is a contact number. And after that, after inserting, just I am going to keep the toast saying that make text, get application context, just the message we are giving save. So I am giving the length is a short and dot show <coughs> now finally after inserting the record we are going to close the database and we are going to finish current activity so that we are going to the home activity again so let us check this output Now we are going to click this add button and we are giving some name and some number and we are going to click the save button so it is saving the record in the database successfully in the next video we can check it out record saved in the database or not so simply in the next video we are getting all the records we are executing the query getting all the records from the contacts table and displaying in the list view so there we have a clarity whether record saved or not now program executed successfully and this is we are changing to add button uh, so we need to come to the activity underscore main here you can see the icons so we need to change the icon that to add icon so just to say control uh, space then we need to go for the add icon here fine now you can see uh, right Now change it to add. So here we have an add button. So we can insert the records here now. Now in the next video, we'll display them in the list view. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel by clicking subscribe button or share this video and like this video and downside of this video you can see the notification icon you just you click that one you will get always latest updates about our channel whatever the new videos we are uploading so we will meet in the next video thanks for watching again